English 9, Book 1, Unit 2, City Life. Getting started. Activity 1. Listen and read. Hey, Paul. Over here. Hi, Zung. How's it going? Getting over the jet lag? Yes, I slept pretty well last night. Hey, thanks so much for showing me around today. No worries. It'll be good fun. So, are you from around here? Me? Yes, I was born and grew up here. Sydney's my hometown. It's fabulous. Is it an ancient city? No, it's not very old, but it's Australia's biggest city and the history of our country began here. Wow! So what are the greatest attractions in Sydney? Well, its natural features include Sydney Harbour, the Royal National Park and Bondi Beach. Man-made attractions such as the Royal Botanic Gardens, Sydney Opera House and the Harbour Bridge are also well known to visitors. What about transport? Public transport here is convenient and reliable. You can go by bus, by train or light rail. Taxis are more expensive, of course. And is Sydney good for shopping? Of course. You know, Sydney's a metropolitan and multicultural city, so we have a great variety of things and foods from different countries. I'll take you to Paddington Market later, if you like. Wonderful. What about education? Are there many universities? Sydney has five big universities and some smaller ones. The oldest of them was set up in 1850, I believe. Oh, it sounds like a good place to get higher education. I like this town. A Closer Look 1 Pronunciation Activity 4 Listen and repeat, paying attention to the difference in the underlined pronouns. Circle the pronouns that sound strong. 1. Can you come and give me a hand? OK, wait for me. 2. Did you come to the party last night? Yes, but I didn't see you. Three. Look, it's him. Where? I can't see him. Four. They told us to go this way. Well, they didn't tell us. A Closer Look 1 Pronunciation Activity 5A Listen and mark the underlined words as weak or strong. 1 Is he there? No, everybody else is, but he's gone home. 2 do you know that woman? Her? Uh, no, I don't recognise her. Three. I'm afraid we can't stay any longer. What do you mean, we? I've got plenty of time. Four. Look, everybody's leaving. What about us? Shall we go too? Skills 2 Listening Activity 2 Listen and write the missing word in each gap.
Suzanne lives in Bangkok with her husband and two children. Her office is seven kilometers away, but it takes her two hours to get there by car every day. Some cities have problems with pollution, crime, or bad weather. Here we have traffic jams, she says. Before going to the office, she has to take her children to school, so she sets off at 5 a.m. The children sleep until they arrive at school. Then Suzanne begins her journey to the office. In the evening, the traffic is even worse. Traffic moves in the city center at half a kilometer an hour. In rainy weather, it doesn't move at all. But why is it so bad? In the past, more people moved around Bangkok by boat. Now, so many people have a car, and there aren't enough roads in the city. The SkyTrain and Metro can help a bit, but they are limited in range and don't cover all parts of the city. Skills two. Listening. Activity three. Listen again and choose the correct answer. Suzanne lives in Bangkok with her husband and two children. Her office is seven kilometers away, but it takes her two hours to get there by car every day. Some cities have problems with pollution, crime, or bad weather. Here we have traffic jams, she says. Before going to the office, she has to take her children to school, so she sets off at 5 a.m. The children sleep until they arrive at school. Then Suzanne begins her journey to the office. In the evening, the traffic is even worse. Traffic moves in the city center at half a kilometer an hour. In rainy weather, it doesn't move at all. But why is it so bad? In the past, more people moved around Bangkok by boat. Now so many people have a car, and there aren't enough roads in the city. The SkyTrain and Metro can help a bit. But they are limited in range and don't cover all parts of the city.